Justin Bieber is the world's hottest pop star, but during his current smash hit tour of Australia, there's only been one person he's wanted to meet. What's up, man? How are you? Good to see you. We're gonna do a handshake this time. Last time I was a pound. Yeah. There we go. Casey oh, Hines, the Aussie schoolboy who stood up to a bully and became a worldwide internet That's sensation. Awesome. I saw the video. It was pretty cool. Yes, I'm excited. The superstar has flown Casey and his family to Melbourne's Rod Laver Arena as VIP guests. Not only are they meeting Justin and seeing his spectacular show, but he also has a surprise in store that will be the envy of millions of fans around the world. Um, you know, I want to bring him out here because, you know, I think he can... This story began in a schoolyard in Western Sydney back in March. A bully and his mates corner Casey and video their victim as he cops punch after punch until suddenly he snaps. I was just, just looking at him. I wasn't really thinking. I was just like, yay, finally it's over. I want to ask you, like, what, what was it like? Like, just like, was your adrenaline just rushing when it all happened? Yeah. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. It just, it yeah, just... it just, just happened. <laughs> so, he was just hitting you and then you just snapped? Yeah. Has he bullied you before that? Yeah, about two weeks prior before that. And that's pretty much it. And so then you just retaliated? Yeah. You just gave him a power bomb? Yeah. Go, Richard, go. Well, this the video was posted online and went viral, touching the hearts of everyone who saw it. The moment that a victim of bullying finally said, enough is enough. But I saw this story that just kind of touched my heart. All right, little so, kid, little kid it, punching him, and then suddenly the big kid had too much, and boom! Ooh. He was defend. They Boss. weren't fighting. He defended himself. What if that was my son, I'd go, you do it again. Everybody on this planet who has seen your video is in your corner. Casey, you're a man, okay? And I salute you. Why do you think that, that, that so many people have reacted the way that they have to what you did? Because people get bullied all the time everybody wanted to know more about the boy in the video he told his story to ACA how long has this been going on in primary school year two all the way up to year six and once I hit um, high school one person started it I had about eight friends my eight friends ditched me that first year and then the teasing started from there when you say teasing what do you mean they're like calling me like fatty and all of that and then slapping me across the back of their head, like tripping me, throwing water bombs at me. How often would, would this stuff go on? Practically every day. Would you recommend it to other people who are being bullied to, to do what you did? Not really. What should they do? Like try to walk as way as, as much as you can. But if a fight does break out, it happens. Casey told a tragic tale of being bullied all his life. Our story was seen by millions of people. One of them was Justin Bieber. That's Justin, good. what did you think when you saw the video for the first time? I thought, well, I, when I first saw it, I saw it um, on TMZ, and I was like, um, like this is crazy. I can't believe this. Like, this is amazing. This is. It shows everybody else like that you have to stand up for, for yourself, and exactly. you know you can't just take it. You know, as you have the first thing you do is you know either go tell someone or, you know, you can't always, um, you know, hit back, but you sometimes you have to. And so I think that was important for you, especially in that situation. So I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm Thanks for that. And, and so many other people we are proud are. of you. We all yeah. are. But no one is prouder than Casey's oh, yeah, dad, Colin. Justin Bieber was keen okay. to meet him too. What's going hey, on, Mike? How are you? Good. So how did you feel when you, like, when you saw, your, you know, your son? On... I was very proud of him. You were proud of him? Very proud of him. Yeah, it must have been like heart, you know, heartaching to see like you know put people bullying. Oh stuff. yeah, yeah. Well, you see kids getting pushed around like that in the schoolyard. It should never have happened, you know. Were any of you? Was any people like standing up for you or anything? No, except for um, the girl that came in mm. after it. That's pretty much it. Really? The rest of them were just on the other side filming it. Yeah, that's right. I mean, more people need to stand up for bullying and like because it happens so much and like. It, it's one thing to get bullied and stand up for yourself, but more people have to like stand in and actually, you know, do something because yeah, and stop it. Yeah, because people just 
get bullied and... Yeah, well, that's it. You, know, you can't be a bystander all your life, you know? Exactly. You, someone's got to step in and say something. Yeah, they stop. Everyone has to stop. Right now, Justin Bieber is one of the most popular people on the planet. Everywhere he goes, he's surrounded by screaming fans. But just a few years ago, it was a very different story. Did you get bullied at school, Justin? Um, I did, yeah. It was actually something that happened a lot for me. Um, you know, I was always, um, I always played sports and stuff, and a lot of the times, you know, I, I would be really good at something, and so everyone would, you know, wouldn't like me because I was good at it, and they would, you know, make fun of me and, and call me a show off and stuff. But, you know, I was just, I liked playing sports and I was good at it. Like Casey, Justin also found it hard to make friends. You know, in like sixth grade, I just remember, you know, I was, I didn't have like a lot of friends. I had like, you know, maybe one or two friends. I have one proper friend. One friend. I have two friends. <laughs> so I have one more, but okay. we're still on the same yeah, level. We're on the same level, yeah. So, yeah, I have two friends, Ryan and Chaz, and they've been, you know, my friends. Um, ever since I can remember, so I'm glad, you know, you always have to keep your core, you know, friends yeah, and stuff, but you got a lot of fans around the world. <laughs> As a victim of bullies, Justin felt inspired by Casey's story. He was determined to track him down. He really wanted to make this happen, so he got in contact with Women's Day. The phone rang, it was Justin Bieber on the other end of the line. We went, well, um, of course we've got to make this happen. So uh, we got in contact with you guys and um, the rest is history. As it turned out, one of Justin's crew had a contact at Women's Day. The star himself asked editor Fiona Connolly to help find Casey. This is highly unusual. You just don't see celebrities giving this kind of treatment to a regular kind of fan any day. He's gone to extraordinary lengths. But Justin didn't want to just meet Casey, he wanted his help in spreading the anti-bullying message. So I wanted to ask you if you wanted to come on stage tonight, because I do this kind of, you know, anti-bullying. Um, you know, we do a lot of different stuff. We do no texting and driving during the show, so I wanted you to come up and kind of uh, just say hi to everybody and just come on stage. Do you want to do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Cool. All right. So it'll be around 9.30. You think you can handle that? Yeah, I can handle that. All right, cool. We'll see you on stage. Yeah. All right, found it. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. You are my love. You are Justin made sure Casey, his sister Tiana, and dad Colin had front row seats. And then, during a brief costume change, the 16-year-old schoolboy was taken backstage for some last-minute tips from the teen sensation. You know what? I need everybody to be quiet for a second because I want to touch on a serious subject. I want to ask if anybody in here has been bullied before. Okay, how many people in here have seen people get bullied? All right, well, you know, there was a, um, there was a story online. Um, a kid was getting bullied, right? And at the end of the video, he stood up for what, you know, for himself because he was, you know, he was getting punched. And, um, you know, I want to bring him out here because, you know, I think he can... <laughs> What's up, man? I think this kid is very inspirational because... Everybody give it up for this kid. <laughs> I, would I would tell you to body slam Dell, but, you know... Um, anyways, but I just wanted to say that, you know, he's very inspirational. He um, shows other people to stand up for, you know, what they believe in. And, and, and what else? What else? You gotta say it. You gotta say it really loud. Never say never! Two kids, once lonely, once bullied, now adored by 13,000 screaming fans. What was it like being up there on the stage with Justin Bieber? Oh, it's pretty good. In front of that. In front of that. <laughs> Did you believe your brother was up there with Justin Bieber? No, I couldn't. At first, I'm just like, no, nah, this isn't happening. This really isn't happening. Because <laughs> this is my chance up, let's go! Messer just felt so special up on that stage. He's only ever been up on stage once, and that was at the school hall playing bass guitar. So uh, to have thousands of screaming teenage girls suddenly um, screaming for him, I think, I think that would have been such a special experience for him. Fiona Connolly from Woman's Day 
says what happened on that stage in Melbourne will have an impact around the world. It sends a very important message on bullying. I mean, here's Justin Bieber, superstar of, of the teen world, and he's saying, no, it's not all right. It was great, you know, a good, good, really good thing. And it was good that um, Justin was prepared to put out a message against bullying, and I thought that was fantastic. Long after Justin had left the building, fans were still caught up in Bieber fever. Casey, the boy they'd just seen on stage, suddenly became the centre of attention. It was a moment he lapped up. Mate, they are all screaming <laughs> for you. What's that like? <laughs> it's amazing. Can like, you... it's, an un, it's an unnatural feeling. And with screams ringing in their ears, even members of the band wanted their photo taken with Justin Bieber's <laughs> new mate. <laughs> the kid who once suffered at the hands of bullies, now one of the boys. This is such an amazing story. It's just such a, a beautiful, feel-good, inspiring story. Um, and, and it really sheds a, a great light on Justin and, and, and Casey's enjoyed every minute of it. How do you feel when all those people come up and, and see you and all these girls here want photos with you? It's pretty good. <laughs> Tiana. Has Casey changed at all since the last time we, we spoke to him? Yeah, he has. He's, his self-confidence has picked up quite a bit. He stands a lot straighter, mate, you know? It's a lot, it's a lot better for him. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And it's nice to meet you, Dad. Great to get kids.